So Optifine's not out yet for 1.20.6. I'll start up front with that. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy most, if not all, of Optifine's features in Minecraft 1.20.6. And by the way, if you would rather just wait for Optifine, be sure to subscribe because we'll do a video the day it comes out. But we have an alternative to Optifine, and it's called well, not a fine, and what it does is it provides Optifine parity without Optifine being updated. We do this using tons of different mods, and all the individual mods are linked in the description down below, because truthfully, if you want to pick and choose what features you want, let's say you just want shaders, or let's say you just want connected glass textures, or something like that, mods in the description down below will allow you to pick and choose those specifically, but I wanted to quickly show you getting not a fine here. Now, not a fine is on CurseForge and it is also on Modern so it doesn't matter which mod loader or you want to use either one is going to work for getting the not to find mod pack. Now in this video we're going to be mostly focusing on CurseForge simply because CurseForge is the most popular one. You've probably already got it but if you don't there is a link in the description down below to our in-depth CurseForge guide and you can also click in the uh, top right to get the CurseForge app here and download it. It's the exact same process as honestly any other program when it comes to installing it and then once you open up CurseForge it is going to look something like this the first time you launch it. You need to go ahead and select Minecraft and you know click standard here and continue and then it'll get everything set up to find not to find what you want to do up here at the top is search for it in O T I F I N right like so and it will be the first thing that pops up here go ahead and click install and it will go ahead and install it while this is installing how to stream our company simple game hosting if you don't play Minecraft with your friends go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown the next YC slash S G H to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server where you can use the not to find mod pack and play Minecraft with your friends with all these optifine features plus if you want to add additional mods you can easily do that would not a fine and add those to your simple game hosting server and play Minecraft mods with your friends super quickly and super easily. Plus, did you want to use another mod pack like all the mods or better Minecraft? There's one click installation of hundreds of mod packs there to be able to quickly install those and start playing those with your friends as well. So overall, simple game hosting is the easiest way to play mod in Minecraft with your friends. Plus, if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So get started on simple game hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to the next YZ slash SGH and start your Minecraft server the simple way. What's not a fine? installed it'll look like this we can go into my mod packs here and we will see it ready to go we can hover over it click play and the minecraft launcher will open the first time you open the minecraft uh, launcher here via curseforge you'll have to log into it right because it's a minecraft launcher launched via curseforge it's the same one that you're using for vanilla minecraft it's just launched via curseforge and kind of installed in a different place so because of that you'll need to log in but it is the official minecraft launcher so it's 100 percent safe to do that once you have logged in playing minecraft with the not to find installation it's super easy. Just click play here. It's automatically selected and Minecraft will launch with all of these Optifine features in Minecraft 1.20.6 without Optifine being installed. And like I said, if there are specific features you want, all the mods are linked in the description down below so you can check them out individually, see what's in the pack and discover them yourself. Also, if you download the pack on CurseForge, you can actually come here, go to mods and see all of the mods here as well to be able to decide what you think about each mod in the pack. If you want to maybe pull some out for your own sort of, you know, custom installation, feel free to do that. It's up to you as to what mods you want to have. And uh, yeah, I, I want you to install any of the specific mods you want and leave out the ones you don't. Let's say you don't want Optifine capes. Well, just don't add this mod and you're good to go. But as you can see here, Minecraft is downloading. Once it's finished, Notifine will open in Minecraft. And by the way, one thing I didn't mention, shaders packs already installed by default with not to find. That means you don't have to go through installing shaders. You can add additional shaders packs if you want. But you don't have to, and it's one of the coolest things about this mod pack is we've tried to make it as customizable from the box as it can be, but also providing as many features as it can out of the box. So if we go to options here, we can go into video settings, and you'll see all the different stuff that we can change here. It's not uncommon for Notifine to provide a 3x FPS boost, but usually it's at least increasing FPS by 50%, if not doubling it. So if we go to shader packs here, we can see all three of these installed. By default, complementary shaders is active. So we can go ahead and jump in game, and I will show you what this looks like. Immediately in game, we can see that shaders, specifically complementary shaders, is active. And if we go ahead and press F3, we can see my FPS is 200 while standing still. And it looked like it was going to be around, you know, 190 or so while running around. And um, 
That's incredible considering I'm recording and we have shaders installed and running. Let's say you wanted to turn off shaders and get a little more FPS. Well, you can do that. You can customize this any way that you want. That's one of the biggest things about not to find is you can come in here and turn this down, turn the render distance up. You can change different performance setups. You can change all the particles, turn them all off, turn them all on. This, that, anything you want to do to change it and make it your own. So if we just go in here and we disable shaders completely, our FPS is going to immediately jump up and uh, yeah, immediately we're in the 600 FPS range in the top left up here, 700, 800 while standing still. So absolutely incredible. And um, yeah, you can even see still with a render distance off in the distance. If we were to turn the render distance down and really try to optimize this, I know for a fact that uh, you can get over 1000 FPS, at least on my computer. But even on lower end computers, this will run amazingly if you turn off shaders and uh, just play Minecraft normally. Easy to get over 60, 30 FPS is really all you need to play Minecraft. So there you have it. That's how you can get Optifine 1.20.6 features, even though Optifine isn't yet released. If you do want to add your single player worlds to this, all you're going to want to do is close out of uh, Not Fun, obviously, then get your single player worlds. Doing this is super easy, so let's do it really quick. Open up the Minecraft launcher, just the vanilla normal Minecraft launcher that you would normally play Minecraft using, and then go to installations up here at the top. You'll see all the installations you normally have and what you play with. Go ahead and hover over the installation you normally play Minecraft with, in my case that'd be latest release, and click the folder here. In here you'll have a saves folder. Right click on that and copy it. Then go back into CurseForge and click play on the Minecraft not to find installation. You're gonna get a warning that Minecraft's already running. It is running and that's okay. It'll close out of that and open this up now with not to find. Then we wanna to go to installations at the top again, except we wanna hover over the not to find installation. Click on the folder that appears, and now you'll have a saves folder here. If there's no saves in here you don't want, which probably isn't if you're just getting started, delete this and then right click and paste the uh, basically saves folder that we got from the other Minecraft folder from your vanilla installation. Now when you launch in game, all of your Minecraft single player worlds will now be transferred to not to find. Should you want to move them back to your normal Minecraft installation, just do what we did, but start with not to find. Copy the saves folder from not to find and move it back over into your Minecraft. Minecraft vanilla installations, replacing the saves folder there. So there you have it. That's how you can play Minecraft using not to find and getting all of Optifine's features, even though it's not updated. I truthfully though, um, and maybe I'm a bit biased here, but I would actually recommend using not to find over Optifine completely because it has all the features and I get better performance, a lot better performance when comparing this to Optifine. So it is worth noting because, well, I think that is the biggest thing that we use Optifine for is shaders and better performance. And this has shaders and honestly, I think it has better performance than Optifine. But again, maybe I'm biased. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below and we'll see you in the next video. Enjoy all of your Optifine features and I am out. Peace.